six start of the season pitching in his eighth game. And a strike to birdie out of the bullpen. He was the bulk guy worked five innings in both of those relief outings. But now the actual starting pitcher he threw a first pitch fastball looking at his percentages. There's that slider you may have been referring to. Fly ball out to right center. Center fielder Slater takes over, and that's the first out. Really blow you away because it's only in the low 90s. Garrett Cooper takes the ball low. We talked about Coop in the open. Teen hitting 447. Takes one in off the plate. You remember in the pregame when I was talking about pay it didn't on a slider from this pitcher? With a high percentage, that's a, that's it. I'm not. I would have been the guy trying to hit the fastball still. <laughs> that one taken low. That's the first one he saw, so he wanted to make sure he could see it. That's why he takes that. 3 2. Is at the bottom of the zone for a called strike three. Who thought it was a little. Two for ten, couple of runs scored, five strikeouts this weekend. Takes ball one. Doubles, 971 on base plus slugging. So just as Cooper has emerged as a guy, that Jorge Soler would get to that point. He certainly has recently. Takes a pitch there. Now three and one. Even his setup, he looks. Real calm. Down the right field line, long run for Flores and Yastrzemski, but that'll get into the seats. Is he fake shaking right there, the catcher? Not sure. Whatever it was, that's not what Joey Bart wanted. Did you do your defense yet? Not yet. Good, I blame you then. I blame you. See? See how easy it is to deflect other people? Backing up. Appreciate that. You're welcome. Fouled straight back. Just don't leave it. Solaire at first. 0 2 on Aguilar. He takes low and away. It's got to be a really good slider. And we've seen right, relievers, right? Coach, he's uh, going hard on his gum. Well, there's the slider. And a strikeout. Two of the slider. It rotates. 2,470 times per minute. So, JP, when you have a guy who has such a dominant. There's much turn to it, but no, honestly, I think it's impressive when you throw one pitch and you can pretty much get away with it. Guys aren't used to seeing that kind of movement. Javi Garcia fouls it off. Garcia, Sanchez, and Rojas. For I knew I knew the way yeah. he set that up that it was going to be nothing special. No, he said there's not a lot of science behind it. I just want like the messaging has always been get beat on your best pitch. Avi fly ball right field drifting back is Yastrzemski. Makes the catch on the track one away and a five game RBI streak. For Jesus Sanchez sharply rolled out towards second base with the shift on its Walton to make the play and there are two outs. His logo he could have gotten it from Club 305. Miggy into center drops in a base hit the Marlins first of the afternoon and a two out base runner here in the second against Jacob Junis and there's a strike so Miggy and really the bottom once everybody starts clicking Feeling we might be putting to bed some of that one run game, nothing deficit. That was the cherry on top yesterday. They battled back, did a great job of getting there. The Stallings didn't like that, thought it was away. Big part of that pen for Don Mattingly and company. Luke Williams will lead things off. Takes a called strike. Low. One ball, one strike. For one this weekend against his former club. Started the year with San Francisco. Last year with the Phillies. With him. He'll play some infield, some outfield. Made a great play out and left on third.
Thursday night behind Sandy Alcantara late in that low scoring affair. It's just a hard nosed baseball player, not going to hurt you at all. He's only going to help you, and that's what you. This one out toward right center field, long way over for Slater, but he gets there. One hit against Junis. Taken inside, ball and a strike. He went around that time, one and two this year. Takes up high, two and two. Gone three fastballs and a changeup, so. Dribbler back to the mound. Junis gets a good hop and feeds Flores two away and beat it first. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. He's probably going to go and do what he did last time because why would you adjust without any kind of information? Garrett Cooper shows me that he's going to honor the fastball. Second, then he just didn't swing at the slider. What's going on? So it looks like, right, if you're if you're betting maybe sliders for strikes. Ground ball. Walton gets to it, spins behind the second base bag, and the inning is over. A walk his first time up. Takes a strike. His walk in the first and Ro low. So Judas, guy who won, won a total of four games in the last three years combined. Signed a one-year deal with the Giants in mid-March. Over these last couple of years, adding the likes of Cobb and Wood and Rodon, merchants of Logan Webb. Optimizing damage. It's fastball away, slider off of that. And that's all he's done. Something hopefully the Marlins can make an adjustment to. I pop foul out of play. Still two balls and two as to what the Giants had against Garrett inside. And, and it isn't in the sense of, you know what, he, he's got two pitches, really. There's the fastball, and he'll throw the slider, and, and I did him. And there's the slider. I would have everybody get on the dish and make that pitch away look more bit comfortable and if you're gonna throw that slider it's not gonna be a pitch like that that's so far off the plate that I hit it off the end of the bat I'm gonna make that well, there but, you go then but <laughs> now I watch it and it's a little different right because it's from up here lefties always want to throw fastballs away changeups away and if they ever threw in it was just for kind of a show to go back away so I was the best. Some guys would do it. Some guys would move up in the plate with a breaking ball. But if you see, there's a much different approach. I won't say it'd be better, but smarter. Swung on and missed. Avi Garcia takes low. Fly ball out to right field his first time up. Teen game. So even though he's getting the hits, been. 90 feet at a clip, and we know that there's a lot of power when he's going to go on a nice little tear. Maybe put the team on his back for a few weeks or a month. This one in on the hands, a slow roller toward first. And a one, two, three. A lot of power in that bat for sure. 13 home runs, but uh, that's more than just a hot streak. That young man can really put a charge into it. As for one today, seven home runs on the season. Facing Junis, drops in a strike. Sanchez Rojas. Inside. Happened to wake up the boys in that dugout. I feel like a little quiet in there, especially after that. You know that. Uh, remember that series with the Diamondbacks, where those couple of games there, back to back, seemed the same. Mirror images of one another. Maybe this is the same deal. We'll see. They fly ball out to left. And Gonzalez puts it away. There's a strike. Miggy had a base hit so far.
it's from Junis outside. He can do a little damage. I'm just looking for one spark. In these situations, you always think that Jazz is a guy that you can. In fact, season series even up at three apiece. Stallings takes a strike. Jacob a strikeout is first. Really, you have to kind of tip your hat where he's been using that more than not. And heaters right by him. Into right field, lined and caught. Had a ball out there in right. Two away. I mean, Gabe definitely couldn't have. Luke Williams was just on deck until the last second. Pretty much it. So, he's seen what he has. 0-2 pitch. And a called strike three. Going in that same exact lane for a strike slider. So that it can come back in the middle of the dish. Ground out towards short. It's taking the hard left turn. Cooper takes ball one upstairs. Makes those sinker slider pitchers difficult. As Cooper sends one out to right field. Carrying. Gone. Garrett Cooper with a home run. Into the Giants bullpen and the Marlins are on the board. You know what's not difficult, Paul? What do you have? Is hitting for Garrett Cooper right now. <laughs> Because he continues to. <laughs> 402 to the. I have a little Oklahoma drill in there with those football helmets. Go back and forth. You know what the old Oklahoma drill is? I don't know, do I? It's kind of two guys that yeah, just go Locking right at horns, it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, whoever gets to the helmet first. The fish. Well, you were begging for a spark and uh, and hoping that Jazz would provide it coming off the bench. He went down on three pitch. How funny is it, though, Paul, when we kind of see the way those at-bats have gone? This ball. And then he got out on a slider. And he really has been going to that fastball more often than not today. Mouse. Cooper adjusted first and made him pay. Then Junis comes back. Throwing in the Giants bullpen. And for Junis. That's because he established that fastball more today. Two balls and two strikes to Aguilar. He chases the slider. Two strikeouts in the inning. <laughs>